Are you looking for the best budget camera in 2022? In this video, we'll break down the top 5 budget cameras on the market this year based on performance and situations they'll be used in. So whether you're looking for the best budget camera for photo, video, or anything in between, stay tuned. We'll have the perfect option for you. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the Canon EOS M50 Mark II, our pick for best budget camera for video. The Canon EOS M50 Mark II is a budget entry-level mirrorless camera that's good for capturing family photographs and video, and for enthusiasts looking to move beyond a smartphone. Its mirrorless design and complementary compact lens system make it easy to travel with, and its front-facing touchscreen is useful for selfies and vlogs. Speaking of lenses, the M50 Mark II comes complete with an EF-M 15-45mm IS-STM lens kit and is compatible with many EF-M mount lenses. One of the carryovers from the original M50 is a 24.1 megapixel sensor. With it, you'll get the same ISO sensitivity range, 10 FPS burst speed, and number of autofocus points, but the Mark II introduces some software updates that give it a slight advantage over the original M50. It also adds a fully articulating LCD touchscreen that gives you access to all the controls you need, including a movie self-timer that gives you between 2 to 10 seconds to set up your shot before the camera starts to record. Other standout features include the ability to shoot vertical videos that are specially formatted for social media platforms, and you can live stream to YouTube directly from the camera as well. When it comes to shooting video in 4K, the results aren't first rate, but definitely passable. This stems from the cropped angle of view and the fact that the dual pixel autofocus is disabled in 4K mode. You're also limited to 24 frames per second. Things look different when you shoot in 1080p though. The full width of the sensor is used and autofocus is fast and very reliable. You'll also get the benefit of digital stabilization to keep all your handheld shots smooth and steady, and you can even push the frame rate up to 60 FPS. The Canon EOS M50 Mark II is an easy to use camera and a very good choice for beginner photographers, videographers, and vloggers. While its 4K video has a few limitations, it shines when shooting in 1080p. Next up, the Sony Alpha A6000, our pick for best budget camera for most people. Even though the Sony A6000 has been around for a while, it remains one of the best mirrorless cameras Sony offers, thanks to its impressive performance and value for the money. The A6000 comes with an SELP 1650 lens kit, so you could start shooting right away. The quick autofocus and 11 FPS continuous shooting mode will let you capture action shots, and the 24.3 megapixel 35mm full frame image sensor and image processing engine will capture images with good detail and color. Unlike the Canon EOS M50 Mark II, the A6000 only captures video in 1080p at up to 60 FPS, and while limited in resolution, it still performs well, and the video record button is intentionally recessed to help you avoid triggering it accidentally. Controls are distributed across the top plate and on the back, and many can be customized to suit your needs. Also on the back of the camera, you'll find the tiltable 3-inch non-touch LCD display that can be used to set up and compose your shots. But that's not your only option. If you prefer, you can use the electronic viewfinder instead. A small pop-up flash remains concealed until you need it, and when deployed, can add light fill to a reach of about 20 feet. Because the flash can be a bit harsh, it's mounted on a pivot and can be tilted up to 90 degrees, making the light bounce off the ceiling and softening the fill for a nicer effect. For battery life, you can expect to get up to 325 shots or 90 minutes of video recording time. Sony has come very close to creating the perfect compact camera system with the A6000, and if you're looking for good performance at a budget price point, the Sony A6000 is an excellent choice. Next up, the Fujifilm X-T200, our pick for best budget camera for photography. The Fujifilm X-T200 is a small, entry-level mirrorless camera that's ideal for casual photographers who are interested in vlogging, family photography, or just shooting for pleasure. The X-T200 is a fun-to-use, entry-level mirrorless camera for people who prefer the flexibility of interchangeable lenses over cameras with fixed lenses. While the X-T200 supports interchangeable lenses, it doesn't come with a lens kit like the Canon EOS M50 Mark II and Sony A6000, but it is compatible with many X-mount lenses. It's quick and easy to focus, takes good photos and videos using the LCD touchscreen or electronic viewfinder, and with its side-by-side -side previews of how a selected filter will affect an image, it's perfect for beginners who are honing their skills and need some help every now and then. Images are captured through the 24.2 megapixel sensor, and some small improvements like the use of copper wiring over aluminum let the camera operate 3.5 times faster than the T100, producing some excellent results overall. 
There's also a digital gimbal in place that uses the camera's built-in gyroscope with an image stabilizing algorithm to keep footage looking smooth. However, you can only use this in 1080p. Further improvements include a faster shooting speed of 8 FPS for still images, which is just slightly behind the Sony a6000 and Canon EOS M50 Mark II. There's higher performance video of 4K at 30 FPS, moving a bit ahead of the EOS M50, and autofocus that's as fast as the X-T3, which once was the top of the line Fujifilm mirrorless camera. If you're shopping for a budget camera for photography, the Fujifilm X-T200 is a solid choice. This entry-level camera is easy to use, produces good results, and will even help you out along the way if you ever need it. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. Next up, the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II, our pick for best overall budget camera. While the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II may come at a budget price point, this Micro Four Thirds sensor camera is no slouch when it comes to performance and offers some great improvements over its predecessor, the Olympus OMD EM10. With a 16.1 megapixel Four Thirds sensor and TruePic V2 processor, the camera can shoot in JPEG, RAW, and even stereoscopic MPO formats. It also provides a number of autofocus options, as well as a generous amount of scene modes and a burst shooting mode of 8.5 FPS, which is comparable to the Fujifilm X-T200. Like the Canon EOS M50 Mark II and the Sony a6000, the Olympus comes with a compatible lens kit, in this case, a 14-42mm 2R lens kit. The EM10 Mark II has also been given a substantial boost in video capability, with the ability to shoot full HD video at anywhere from 24 to 60 FPS, while its predecessor was limited to 30 FPS. Like the Sony a6000 though, there is no 4K ability available, but it can take time-lapse images at specified intervals and compile them into a 4K video file. And to keep your shots looking great, the EM10 Mark II has a 5-axis stabilization system. This means that the camera could correct not just for side-to-side -side and up-and-down movements, but also for horizontal and vertical shifts as well as rotational motion. The 3-inch tilting touchscreen on the rear of the camera has been brought forward from the older model, along with the pop-up flash and hot shoe. The battery is rated for 320 shots, but can be increased to 750 shots if the quick sleep mode is enabled to conserve power. New additions include a faster electronic shutter, improved electronic viewfinder, and autofocus targeting pad. If you're looking for one of the best overall budget cameras you can get, the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II is a very capable tool and a great choice. It's true that there are a lot of higher spec cameras on the market, but few are as cost effective and as capable as this one. Last but not least, the Canon T7, our pick for best budget DSLR. If you're interested in making the jump to DSLR photography, but don't have a very large budget to work with, the Canon EOS Rebel T7 covers all the basics and is a great starting point for beginners. The EOS Rebel T7 gives you greater control and better image quality than your compact camera or smartphone. Although it's very similar to the older EOS Rebel T6, retaining the Digic 4 Plus image processor and the 9-point autofocus system, improvements include a 24-megapixel sensor and several performance upgrades that make it worthy of consideration. Holding the camera, you'll appreciate the textured coating on the front grip, along with the rear thumb rest for an overall comfortable feel. The rear button configuration is well laid out and demystifies navigation and operation, with the quick menu button enabling you to quickly access frequently used settings. On the back, the 3-inch touchscreen sits flush, and there's also an optical viewfinder in place. Like most of the other cameras we've looked at, the Rebel T7 comes with an 18-55mm kit lens that offers good image stabilization even when you're hand-holding the camera and shooting at slow shutter speeds. And while not super fast, the Rebel T7 will shoot continuously at 3 FPS. You won't be able to freeze high-speed action, but you will be able to catch slower action like people, animals, and more. If you shoot video, you'll be able to shoot 1080p at 30 or 24 FPS, 1280 by 720 at 60 FPS, or 640 x 480 at 30 FPS. Overall, both color reproduction and video quality are good. The Camera Connect app lets you transfer files from the camera to your mobile device and can also be used as a digital shutter release. The battery will last for about 600 shots or 60 minutes of video, and like the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II, a setting in the interface will let you automatically shut down after being idle for a set period of time to conserve battery power. If you're looking for one of the best budget DSLRs on the market right now, the Canon EOS Rebel T7 is a decent choice. While it doesn't have the latest hardware, it's geared toward beginners and offers an affordable way to improve your photography skills without spending a bundle. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. 
Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.